Hi, so in this video, we're gonna look at Microsoft Copilot for Microsoft 365 six months later and see the new features, predominantly being comparing two documents, contracts, whatever you wanna compare, both Word and PDF, Microsoft says are available. Let's have a look together during this video. I'm Gavin Jones, founder and director of MeTime, where we help organizations save time at work for their employees to increase sales or increase well-being happening to use Microsoft 365. So if you're interested in working together, we have a call using the link in the description below and see if we're a good fit and if we can help each other out. We've got new videos on Microsoft at Work coming out every week on YouTube. So make sure you click the subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified whenever they come out. But let's get straight into it. So Microsoft sent me this email back in June, so probably about a month ago at the time of recording with all of the latest stuff that's going on in Copilot. And one of the things, or the most interesting thing in the email was that improvements based on your feedback. So clearly people had suggested things that they wanted to do. And it's saying easily compare multiple contracts, articles, or proposals. So you can get two different versions of the same document, compare them and see what's changed. If you don't think that's useful, someone I know that was going backwards and forwards for contracts to, I think, to sell his business from memory, and you know agreeing what needs to be changed going backwards and forwards had one little change to be made the other person changed that bit signed it sent it over he checked that bit had been changed signed it and that, that was the deal done legally binding contracts signed by both people but he didn't check they they actually changed some other bits in the very last you know minutes of that being agreed uh, which he didn't check through the whole document again obviously you check through the document as they were going through, agreed the bits that need to be changed, but only checked those things that changed. He didn't check. They changed some other bits that he didn't know that were really important and, and got done over in the deal at the last minute and he didn't realise. So him having this AI feature to compare those things to every time someone sends a new version, like, well, have they changed anything else that they've not said? Let's just have a quick comparison. So that sounds really useful. And also then Microsoft saying you can use PDFs and not just off uh, Microsoft documents. So it says you can do the same thing with a PDF. You can summarize PDF or compare PDF one and PDF two. So let's have a look to see if this app does actually do what Microsoft said it does. I've got two contracts here that I just, I downloaded off the internet. It's a standard contract. It's got uh, a header page with some dates, what the total amount of the work is gonna be and loads of terms and conditions. Now I changed one of the clauses in here, which I think from memory is this one. So in the original document, it says upon completion or termination of the consultancy services, the client shall be under no obligation to offer the consultancy further work, nor shall the consultancy be under any obligation to accept any offer of work made by the client. I changed that clause to be the reverse. So upon completion of determination, the client shall be under obligation to offer the consultancy for the work and the consultancy shall be under obligation to accept any offer of work made. So clearly a massive change from like, you, you, you know, this is just one set contract to being actually, you need, to, the client needs to offer me further work and I need to accept it. Uh, both a complete reversal of that clause. As well as that, I could changed, um, the, the amount, so it's gone from £30,000 to £35,000. And I've exported both of those two PDFs in this contracts folder here. So I've got version one and version two, docx, docx, and PDF, PDF. Let's see if Microsoft can actually do what it says it can do. So taking the exact prompt from the email, I'm gonna start with PDF, because that's the most likely thing that uh, is going to go backwards and forwards between parties, especially if you're talking about contracts. And Microsoft specifically says, easily compare multiple contracts, articles, or proposals. So we'll copy that in. We'll change PDF one to me time contract client X version one and PDF two, which is me time contract Client X version two. So version one and version two, both PDFs. Compare them and list the differences between them. Let's go. Let's see what it's gonna do. Oh, 
So it has actually worked in this instance. So it's saying based on the information provided, here are the differences between the two versions of the me time contract for client X. Total price for the contract in version one is 30,000, one in version two is increased to 35,000. And it lists the references, obviously it's the two files that we, we gave it. In version two, there's an additional clause, which isn't true because it's the same clause which we've changed, but at least it's pulled out. Stating that upon completion of termination of the consultancy service, blah, 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 the client shall be under obligation to offer consultants further work and the consultancy shall be under obligation. So it's, un it's bolded both of those. This clause is not present in version one. Uh, well, the clause is present, but it's, it's just changed, but it's done a great job there comparing both PDFs, which might be really useful if stuff's going backwards and forwards. Now, I was gonna do this video live uh, as we did it, it's the first time that I've tried this. I had just recorded it and another recording failed, so I'm re-recording it, which is annoying. But in this is completely different from my experience from what I just recorded. So when I first tried that, bear in mind I just made these two documents. I've said, can you compare PDF1 and PDF2? Is that the same thing? It's saying I can help you compare the two versions. However, I do not have the capability to directly view or edit documents. To assist you, I can provide a summary of the first version of the contract. So it's just a summary of the, of the contract so you can see what is pulled out from the summary, which actually is, is useful. Um, but it says, please compare these points to the second version of the contract to identify any differences. It's like we haven't done that. So that's it to summarize version two. It said, I found it. Unfortunately, I cannot directly get access to content. So it didn't, just didn't summarize it. So I said, well, how, and you know, one of the prompts was, how can I compare these documents effectively? It said, just do it, do it manually or use comparison tools, which is what I'm trying to use Copilot to do. So, then I tried it again, PDF one and PDF two, version one and version two. It just says it didn't even do the summary then. Uh, then tried it again with the document, so the docx version. So it did then pull out the same thing that we've just seen together in PDF. So I'm not sure if it takes longer to scan the PDFs, maybe. So it was, I mean, I did them pretty close together exported version one, exported version two, they're both in OneDrive, they're both synced, they're both in the cloud, and it could summarize version one and it couldn't summarize version two. So it might try it again, summarize me time contract version two, didn't do it, summarize me time contract version one, and it did do it, um, and, and just wouldn't do, wouldn't do the, 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 the second one. So now we've just tried it, it has worked, which is good, but, doesn't seem that robust unless it just needs to live in SharePoint or OneDrive for a bit until there's some scanning going on in the background. But it seems like it's trying to read those documents in real time rather than it needing to be in OneDrive. And Microsoft has got another development that says you can just use files off your off your desktop. So I'm not sure that was the reason. Um, so if we just try and just say summarize, and then we'll just pick the um, me time contract. We'll do the PDF again, so version one, um, so you can see live the summary it does in real time, um, which is pretty quick. Uh, oh, it's done it in text now. So see the first time I did the summarize, it actually just listed out all the things, which is quite useful. Now it's done it in like, Pros, which is not as useful as so contract stated that, specifically the date of that, total price is this. Um, so it's like it's doing it in sentences and um, paragraphs. Whereas when it did the first one, which admittedly isn't what I wanted it to do, it actually just listed out bullets of all of the things, which was actually pretty useful. So I'm not sure what it's done that. Let's just do the same thing, see if it can summarize version two now. It doesn't show up PDFs in your recent for some reason. You have to like type.
summarize just the version two, see if it does it in the same format as the first one. Who knows? I guess you could say summarize it in bullets and it would probably do that. Um, but yeah, it's done it in, in sentences and paragraphs again. Maybe it's because it's in the thread of that. So let's do a new chat. I'll just do one more summarize. New time contract version one PDF. Yes, yeah, so it's done. It's, again, it's done it in a different format. So I'm not sure how it decides what format it's going to do the summary in every time it does it. It's just, I don't know why it wouldn't do the same thing every time. If you've asked it to summarize it, I don't know why the summarizing isn't the same summary every time it summarizes that same document. I don't know. Um, but it seems like it is working now. Let's have one more go just to see if it, it works every time. Differences between them. Cool. So it, ha it is working. It's pulled out the changes. So again, the, again it's, it's the comparison is different as well. So the first time it said there's an additional clause, which wasn't true, but it highlighted the exact words that had changed. In this one, it's saying the clause regarding the obligation uh, shall be under no obligation further, blah, 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 blah. However, in verse two, this clause had been modified, which is, which is true to state that upon completion, termination, blah, 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 blah. But it's like you've got to look at the differences between those two lines, um, which is, is still useful. But in the first time we did the summary, it actually just bolded that exact text that we changed. So it's a bit more easy to see. Um, so still really useful, will save loads of time. If your job is to compare contracts, might be worth giving Copilot a go because this could save you like hours upon hours. If all of your day is just you know, comparing contracts and seeing what's being sent to and fro, if you're in HR or legal or any other sort of professional services that deals with contracts, maybe a buyer, just get Copilot. It's like, you, you, even if it's completely wrong and messes up, I say wrong, it won't give you wrong information from the document, hopefully, although it does always say AI may, might make mistakes. It could just provide a little bit of speed and then you can go through and check maybe on the final version, say. But um, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. Have you been using Copilot over the past six months? How have you got on? Let me know in the comments. And if you've got any ideas for other videos, let me know your ideas in the comments below as well. Happy to hear some ideas and make some videos based on your feedback. Well, like I say, if you need help making your whole organization more efficient, better place to work, increase well-being, increase sales, book a call using the link in the description below and we'll have a chat to see if we can help each other out. If you're not in a position to do that for your whole organization, but you want to be more efficient yourself or get more out of Microsoft 365, then subscribe to the channel, give the video a like if it helps in the algorithm and keep watching. If you want more help, then you can get quicker answers to comments if you join the channel using the join button below this video. Early access to new videos or in MeTime Mastermind, you get access to courses that have sold between hundreds to thousands of pounds previously for less than 50 pounds a month, as well as live Q&A with me once a week. If you book in advance, you can book the next four weeks in and have some live questions where we can go on a Teams call and you know give you immediate help. So if that's useful, click the join button below this video. But thanks for watching so far. It really helps us out just watching these videos. Hope it helps you out as well. And we'll see you in the next one.